Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this Bridgeport Series 1 2 horsepower. This happens to be the late model American made Bridgeport milling machine in a Series 1. So we have a 2 horsepower a variable speed head with the R8 spindle taper. The table size on this machine happens to be a 9 by 42. It's going to deliver 30 in the X, 12 in the Y, 16 in the knee, and of course you have 5 inches on the quilt. The overall weight on the Series 1 uh, Bridgeport is approximately 2,200 pounds. That being said, we're going to go ahead and just real quickly run through what comes with it on the, uh, on the package. We have the actual machine itself, we have the aligned table feet, we're also including an R8 collet set that happens to be 8 to 3 quarter by 16, as well as a clamping kit, standard 52 piece clamping kit. So we're going to come back to some of the additional options that we uh, we offer as a complement. It's going to be listed on the quote under optional. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and run the machine for you, take it through its bases, and do a full in-house inspection. Wrong safety glasses. All right, clear. Clear. Your high range goes from 500 to 4200 RPM. Again, you have an R8 spindle taper. There's power feed on the quill. And uh, another nice thing I'd like to point out, maybe I'll have to have you come up nice and close on this. I wanted to show the chrome blades, but I'm chromed on the cross and I'm chromed on the tabletop surface. So it's kind of a unique feature that was on some of the bridge ports. Again, this is a domestic built American made machine. So we can see the chroming on the crossways and then the chroming or the flaking on the top of the the flaking on top of the chromed ways on the top tabletop surface. Uh, outside of running the machine, there's not a lot of other specifications that we can talk about. So feel free to inquire for our uh, specification list that has our quote with the price on it, and then we'll also have the options listed out. Okay, so that's done off of this lever here. You have your engage, dis disengage lever. Clear. Off of your feet, reverse trip lever is basically where you're either going to come up or go down, depending on your direction. Now let's go over the additional accessories. Okay, we trick this machine out with basically one of your little special handles here. We have the table stops on it set up with the limit switch for the power feed. Alright, moving on to accessories. Again, on the boat, please inquire for the boat with the options on it. You'll see that we have everything listed out here. Taking it from the edge here, we offer factor line, we offer height line. Uh, we also specialize in the new all digital readout. This happens to be the DP700 box in a three axis. We have one of the axes hooked up right now on our demo stand. But you can go either two, three, or four axis on the digital readout. Again, we're just showing the standard Jacob grill chucks, uh, halt sets, the clamp kits. We always try to make sure that we have an original manual that goes out with the machine. It's kind of nice to have an operator's manual with the machine. 
this here is kind of a fun little item. It's called a Rich Mill CNC 30. What we have here is a Rich Mill 5C indexer. Now something like this can be sitting up on the tabletop if you desire. Apologize. Clear? Yep. So this would be what we'd call a fourth axis that would be sitting up on the table. Basically it's a 360 degree rotation or you can do second degrees with one degree increments. It's a Rich Mill CNC 30 with an independent control box that would sit up on top of the table. Okay, moving on, we have work holding. We have a Kirk D688. It happens to open up to 8.8 .8 inches. We have a standard machine vise and a 4 inch or a 6 inch with a swivel base. Uh, going back to the Kirk vise real quickly, we offer a couple of cool handles. One's called the torque handle and the other is the standard spider handle. So these are also listed on the optional list. Uh, this here is, is a, what we call a horizontal milling attachment. Basically what this horizontal milling attachment does is turn your vertical mill, so coming off of the R8 spindle right here in the top, that's going to drive your R8 spindle off the quill. Here's the parking bracket and here's the drawbar extension. So you can turn your vertical mill into a horizontal mill with a horizontal milling attachment. So all of these items here that we're seeing are all good in stock here in Salt Lake City. Uh, the one last thing that we can offer is a power feed on the cross. We can offer a power feed or a power lift on the knee. We can do a power draw bar. We can do a riser block. So sky's the limit when it comes to options here at Machinery Consultants. Feel free to give us a call at any time. Our phone number here in Salt Lake City, Utah is 801-531-9500. You'll find this website listed at www.machineryconsultants.com. Go to machineryconsultants.com, click on Use Machines, and then go to Vertical Mills, and you'll find this under the category, uh, I apologize, uh, our stock number 6822. Again, that's inventory number 6822. And if anyone's interested in the serial number or further specifications, feel free to reach out to us at any time. Well, until next time, thanks for shopping with Machinery Consultants. Be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks again.